guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Big Dog Eats. Today, we're starting a brand new series called On The Side. On The Side is all about side dishes. You know, a great side dish can elevate an entree to a legendary status. Yeah, and what's a good entree without a good side? Uh, exactly, that's exactly it's right. It's like half a meal. Exactly. So come on in, kick back, sit down. We're making some smashed potatoes. So we picked the smashed potatoes as our first episode of this new series because it's just absolutely incredible. It really is, man. It really is. Can I tell them the story about how Go we... Go ahead. Just... Tell them the story, So we're brother. sitting there watching an NFL game, right? Go Dolphins, by the way. And we see this commercial for Kerrygold Butter where they're smashing a potato and it just looks so darn good, man. So we figure we look it up on uh, Google and see what it is. And we've honed it down to uh, a pretty solid recipe, yeah. wouldn't you say? Well, what I've done is, because we've made this now probably, what, 15, 20 times? Eh, maybe like 10, maybe like okay. 10. I have refined this recipe to be just ridiculously good. Uh, it is a little time consuming, but I guarantee this is worth it. If you ever make anything on this channel, this side dish is what you want to make. I promise you that. And it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. It's literally potatoes. Yeah, I mean, it really is. So... Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get this thing started. So to get this side dish started out, we've got to get everything prepped and ready. So we're going to start with the potatoes. What I like to use are these honey gold fingerling potatoes, small potatoes. They work really good. They smash really well, and they have just an amazing flavor. Then you want to have one large onion, four garlic cloves, some parsley, and that's pretty much all we need for right now. To get this side dish started, we're going to start with the potatoes. You want to get them in a pot, cover them with cold water, and heat to boiling. Once the potatoes are boiling, cook for about 20 minutes until a fork passes easily through the potatoes. In a pan, grab the onion, cook that up until the onion is fully translucent, about four to five minutes. In a separate pan, melt one stick of butter, and add the four cloves of chopped garlic to that. You're gonna to wanna to cook this butter up for about two minutes. This is gonna soften the butter up. It's also going to infuse the flavor of the garlic into the butter. Set both aside for final assembly. All right, big dog. Now I'll tell you one thing. It is smelling good in here with all the garlic, butter, onions. I mean, that's just a recipe for greatness. And one of the things that's great about cooking is all the amazing smells that you get when you're prepping everything. The, absolutely. The so, aromatics, if you will. Absolutely. The Ac aromatics. <laughs> I love aromatics. Well, now it's time to get this thing put together, uh, and let's go ahead and start this. Now, in most of these recipes, people use like a potato masher to mash these things. I don't like doing that because it kind of mutilates the potato. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to get a glass with a flat bottom and some cooking spray. AKA pan. AKA pan. Well, this is actually the generic version, but it's the same exact stuff. And basically all you do is you just spray this a little bit, grab the potato and very slowly Smash it. Now, oh, this yeah, is something yeah. you want to take time on because you don't want to do it too quickly. Otherwise, it will tear up into pieces. Just like that. Now, it's, to keep in mind, too, guys, you're not going to get it to be a perfect round one. You're not going to get it perfectly round every time. No, but notice... I'm doing this slow, and it's not tearing into pieces. That's what you're looking and for. And also, when you do the next one, I'm going to point something else out that you're okay. doing as well. That way the audience. You're, when you come up off of it with the glass, you end up doing like a twist motion. Yep, because that to helps to get, yep. It. That's exactly right. I'm trying to get this camera to focus here. Okay, so we have all the potatoes smashed and ready to go. And as you can see, I kind of rushed. If you look, see this one's kind of apart because I rushed through that one. So you want to take your time. It's still going to taste amazing. It's just not going to look as good. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to layer everything on these potatoes. So we're going to start off by seasoning them with salt and pepper. All right, you want to get a little bit obviously on each one. Thank you. 
I didn't season anything earlier because this is where you're going to do all the seasoning. I'll tell you what, I am so upset I'm not going to be able to eat these, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. Jacob's not going to be here. He's got a prior... Um, what are you? What are you doing? A prior engagement. There man. you go. I want to hang out with my buddy Vic. I forgot I had plans. Made. Ah, gotcha. And uh, unfortunately, these things are good, but they're not good enough to bail on my boy. You know what I mean? I hey, get, man, it's your loss, I not mine. I to my dog. I man. will tell you, there won't be any left when you get back. Uh, I guarantee I you that. But hey, you know what? At least I've had it like 15 times. That's already. true. 10, 15 times. All right. Now, now that we have this thing, yeah. Now that we have this thing seasoned, let's go ahead and get everything put together. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna spoon a little bit of these onions on each one of these potatoes. And again, we're gonna be layering these flavors. So you wanna make sure that you spread this out among all of the potatoes. This is gonna give it a nice flavor and a really nice little crunch when you bite into them. We love onions here in the Big Dog Eats kitchen. We definitely do. We don't care that it makes our breath stink a little bit. <laughs> well, a little bit of Colgate, a little bit of toothpaste, yeah. toothbrush, you're back in action. We have a few left over, so I'm going to go around and add to some that had a little less. So the next layer, obviously, is going to be our garlic butter. And all you're going to do is spoon, again, just like with the onions, you want to spoon a little bit of garlic and the butter on each one. One full stick of butter and four cloves of garlic I have found is the perfect amount for a full tray of these. This garlic butter is just packed with absolute amazing flavor. This is what makes, this component right here, I believe, is what makes this dish truly, truly great. And if you notice, I got a little bit of garlic on each potato. Got a little left. So let's go back around. Spread the love. Spread the love. All right, the last thing before we put these in the oven is Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan cheese. So you just put a little on each potato. This is gonna cook up and crust up and be really amazing. Now that we have our potatoes ready to go, they go in the oven for 30 minutes at 350. All right, we have pulled our smashed potatoes out of the oven. Now I do wanna let you know, one of the things that I always use when I make something like this, non-stick foil. It really helps because otherwise this will stick to the foil like crazy. So if you use non-stick foil, it'll definitely help you out. Now to finish this, we have one last component. Some parsley, and what we're gonna do is simply just sprinkle some parsley on these things. This is gonna give it an extra little bit of flavor and some much needed color. Smashed potatoes are done. That's it. try these smashed potatoes out. As you see, I did pair this with one of my sous vide New York strip steaks. If you want to see how I cook that, I'm going to go ahead and link a video at the very end that you can just click on and watch how we do that as well. So let's go ahead and try this out. I am so excited for this. I love these things. Hmm. Just like always, this dish, side dish, has so many different layers of flavor. When you bite into it, you can taste the garlic, you can taste the butter, you can taste the onion, you can taste, of course, the potato. It's just such a great combination of flavors. It is just incredible. 
I definitely recommend that you try this at home. I guarantee you this will probably be the best side dish you make. Well, that's going to about do it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I got to say, it's too bad Jacob wasn't here for this. These things are incredible, but you know what? He made those plans, so he's got to deal with it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this new series. Uh, do you like the side dish? Do you want us to cook more? What would you like us to cook? Go ahead and throw in the comments below, and we really appreciate that. But with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and bolt. I want to go ahead and munch this steak down with these amazing smashed potatoes. Thanks again for watching. See ya!